All right, we're back. Season four preseason. Iowa at Virginia Beach. Game four of our Friday slate. Hopefully everyone has been enjoying the preseason action thus far. More exciting things to come with new look teams all around the league, including these two, Iowa and Virginia Beach. We'll take a look at the prior season's performances here before we get started on our standings tab. Iowa at 6-4. and four. They were second in the Midwest behind Columbus, who finished 9-1. and one. 17th total offense, third worst pass offense, 11th best rushing offense, 4th best total defense, 13th passing defense, 7th best rush defense. Virginia Beach, 8-2 record. They won their division by four games, including winning every game inside their own division. Sixth best total offense, fifth worst passing offense. They ran a lot. Best rushing offense, best total defense, best passing defense, ninth best rushing defense. Expert picks time. Virginia Beach, three out of four and a 52% chance to win, despite having Ronan Gallagher at quarterback. A guy who has never started an NAGA game despite having elite dev and being drafted in the fourth round, which is still shocking to me, of last year's draft. Insane. All, all time steal right there of the draft by E. Coach E. Speaking of coaches, really good at games. Coach of the Year, by the way, last year. Also, debuting these new uniforms based off of the University of Iowa football team, which he had requested that I make for him. And uh, this is actually, <laughs> behind the scenes note, this is actually the third take. Because <laughs> A, I wanted to make sure I had E's playbooks, and B, I wanted to make sure I had your uniforms. So, uh, yeah. But now that we have both, we can play. So let's get to action. Ronan Gallagher will line up in the pistol here. Pemani Moore in the backfield. Moore on the carry. Oh, aggressive tackle there. By 21, Sean Adams. And call him a journeyman now. This is his fourth team. Gallagher looking on second and two. He'll go deep here. It's incomplete. That looks like it was intended for Riddle, maybe? Or maybe a Doniel Howard. 12 or 13. Couldn't quite catch it. Go! More on the run. He will have enough. Adams on the stop, and Eric Walker who will take reps as the running back two this year, as Moore is now an 88 overall elite dev, if you can believe that, at just the age of 25. So Walker in the game. He'll get the carry. Walker going to try and break free, but could not break free of the tackle made by 41 James Romans, the backup middle linebacker. First down for Virginia Beach. Moore again. Good tackle by Lamar Gray from Memphis Liberty. And uh, we will see a lot of runs here on first down. As, uh... Practice. They have been overworking those offensive linemen. And uh, expect to see maybe close to 40 carries total today. At least... Maybe even more. Gallagher's pass here. Caught out of the backfield by Moore. Good enough for the first down. Walker. Good block there. Romans again on the tackle. Lead block provided by... Ricardo Garcia, 79. Former Oklahoma City Tornado. 
Second and two. Tyler powers in motion. Four receivers stacked up to the right side. Gallagher looking off his back foot. Nice throw to Vince Bullard. First down there for Bullard. A generous spot there, I'm pretty sure. I thought he was stopped a little bit short of that 25-yard line, but Bullard hauling that one in the form of Raleigh Royal. More. Kind of slice and dice there. Tackle made that time by 96. That is Ronnie Phipps, the sophomore defensive tackle out of Penn State. Gallagher, second and three, looking to throw. Pass is caught. Tyler Powers. And a first down here as Virginia Beach is driving on their first drive. First and goal now for the Mariners. Then in motion is Lawson. And up more. Gonna try and find a lane. He will to the end zone. Touchdown, Mariners. Kaimani Moore will get his first touchdown of the brand new preseason. Extra point by Reynolds is perfect. So Virginia Beach and Ronan Gallagher drive down the field and score on their first drive. We will see what Graham Hull and company can do. As Daquan Fowler will return. New offensive weapons here for Iowa. Jimmy Burrows at tight end. Eric Dahl at right tackle. Bradley Fetters at, or sorry, David Platt at left tackle. Fetters is the backup. Daquan Fowler there with a big catch. As well as Tariq Wright at wide receiver two. Again, Fetters as the backup right tackle. Real choosing to start Platt over him. First and 20 now after the penalty. Tariq Wright in the slot, number three. That's Burroughs in motion, 86. Rogers here on the carry. That one good for a few, call it eight. Hull to throw, second and 12, his back foot, that's a dangerous pass, but lucky it will fall out of bounds, he was trying to hit Fowler there. Third and 12. Hike. Play action, Hull, pass, wide open is Fowler, and this time there is no flag. First and ten at midfield here for the Storm. Hull with a flag down. Pass is caught. That's Matt Peters. And that should... Oh, it will not stand because the penalty gives them a first down and wipes out Peters' reception. Go. 2.15 to go in the first quarter. Hull's pass is caught. That's Blackstone who now has been relegated to the slot, which is crazy to think about. You have overalls of 92, 90, and 87 at those receiver spots. Break is on the run, breaking a tackle. And being brought down by 52, that's Sean Tucker. So 
Second and eight now. Oh, looking as a man right side. I think that was Briggs, but he dropped it. Couldn't quite haul it in that time. Usually Briggs is pretty sure-handed. He was actually converted to a receiver for a short time last year. He was using it with a slot a little bit. Briggs now on the carry, and that's Joe Toussaint, 69 on the tackle. Fourth down, it'll be a long field goal here for Dvorak. If he tries it, he will. This will be from 40... No, yes, 48. It is good, actually from 49, give or take a yard or two. I was close enough. Anyway, Iowa on the board here with a long field goal try. 7-3, to three, our score. Dvorak to kick, Powers to return. Brought down by Ronnie Phipps. Gallagher gonna be sacked here. It's Phipps again. Making his presence felt early here. Third down and 18 now. They will get a playoff for the quarter ends. Is caught by Lawson, but Lawson lost it, and Cameron Galbraith will recover it. So that is a big break for Iowa's defense. It will get the ball. Inside the 30 as we start the second quarter. Rogers. Stopped there by 93. That is Steven Reddick. The former Louisville King. And Vancouver Mountaineer. Roger. Second and 12. He will be stopped after a gain of five. Briggs will come back in for this third down play. Can Iowa get anything off of this turnover? They'll hand it to Briggs, and he will be stopped well short. Marcus Aiken bringing him down, and they will send out the field goal unit. Big break for VB here. Dvorak from 40. It's good. So if they only get three, probably would have loved seven off of that turnover, but seven, six game regardless. Kicks away, powers to return. Good run there. Pick up a 13. It'll bring in Walker again. Gallagher to throw. Has an open receiver. That was not the open receiver I was thinking of. But uh, even if it was, that coverage was uh, covered fast. More on third and one. 
Breaks off the hit, has the first and a lot more. Brought down by Cameron Galbraith. That is good enough for a Mariners first down right outside the red zone. Walker back into the game, 6.50 to go in the first half. Walker on the run, Romans there for the stop. He has been quite the tackler today, he has stopped a few of the aggressive carries by the VB running backs. Second and four. Gallagher looking. That is caught John Gunter. Playing against his former team. Gunter from Oak Ridge, Tennessee went to college at the University of Iowa. Third and one. More. Carry almost had touchdown number two right there, but was stopped short by Justin Smith. Walker now in the game, first and goal for Gallagher. Can he get his first pass touchdown? No, it will be another rush touchdown for Walker. So both running backs. Moore and Walker have one each today. Third and six now for Iowa as their offense looking to convert here. Rogers, and they do not convert. It is Aiken again on the stop. Former Tucson Viper who has really started to shine here for Virginia Beach within the last couple of uh, games that he's played for him. Escobar here on the punt. Julius Kelsey to return. Not very far. New drive. More. And that one not going very far. Ronnie Phipps again. Had a sack earlier, a couple TFLs for him, four tackles in total. Not a bad day for the Penn State defensive tackle. Gallagher gonna try and scramble out of this pressure. He does. That was Sand uh, no, excuse me, Myers. I was chasing him down. That was eight, not nine. <laughs> Third and nine. Pass. Here is caught. Powers. He has a lane to the end zone. 20 10. Touchdown, Virginia Beach. 71 yard strike as the coverage fell down. And how about that for Ronan Gallagher? His first passing touchdown is a huge one. Twenty-one to six. Now a two-score game for Virginia Beach. Three minutes to go in the second quarter. Get this Iowa offense going once again. He'll air it out to Fowler. Usually not a bad uh, formula there, but couldn't quite hold on that time. 
Rogers. Second down carry, good for five. As Aiken will be subbed out. Sharif Abdullah will come in. Another former Iowa Storm member also spent time with Vancouver. Was actually teammates with Graham Hall for quite a bit. Started out his career on Vancouver, went to Iowa last year and is, is playing his former team and also playing his former, former teammates. So, uh, w weird, uh, triangle connection there with, with that, with Abdullah. Of course, knows Graham Hull, Tavares Blast, and all the Vancouver guys very well. More here. Somehow got tackled on that. Okay. Uh, we will leave it be. Stop made miraculously by Jonathan Riggs, somehow. We will carry on. Second and one. Gallagher motioning Gunter. Moore on the run. Myers there on the stop. Empty backfield here for the Gallagher. He will throw deep into double coverage. It's incomplete. That was Jackson and Adams in coverage. I do believe. Or it could have been Smith. I think, I think it actually may have been Smith. <laughs> anyway, second down. Gallagher flagged down Gunter with the catch. Is this a holding call? It is, but it's on the defense, so it'll stand. A big play there, 27 yards for Gunter. First down of the 27 for Virginia Beach. Gallagher's pass will be caught this time by Powers, and he was so close to getting in again. First and goal, could we see another rush TD here? I mean, they're going to run it. They're gonna run it. It's first down. They're gonna run it. Kaimani. Hike. You know it. I saw it coming. Touchdown, Virginia Beach. Second TD for Moore. And um, this could get ugly real fast. 28 to 6. There's Rogers on the toss. The third down play does not go anywhere. Timeout Mariners punt up coming. Pass here and double coverage is incomplete. Looking for Gunter. Gallagher, 8 of 12 for 155. That, that's tremendous. 
Second down. Caught more. Wait a minute, did they pass on first down? I thought they always ran on first down. I guess I guess they don't. Okay. That was interesting. I, I, I just noticed that. I'm like, what? Anyway. First down, 32 seconds to go. Passes caught the first catch for Adoniel Howard. Incomplete that time. Hey. Second now with 25 seconds left. Pass is caught. That is Craig Westmoreland, the backup tight end, former Wichita Wrangler. Getting everybody in the action over here. Eight seconds, he'll spike it and probably try for a field goal here. They will. This is from 43, call it, Reynolds. And he got it, no problem. 31 to 6. One second to go, Hull will throw a pass that could have easily been picked by uh, Virginia Beach, but that one connects with Fowler. 31-6 at half. Virginia Beach are in 24 in the second quarter. Be sure to subscribe if you're enjoying so far. I know this is kind of a blowout, but we do appreciate all the support. And feel free to join us on our Discord, which is linked in our about section of our channel be sure to join the great community over there daquan fowler will get this second half kicked off first and ten new drive and a new half for the iowa storm we'll see if they can get anything going here sean fox the fullback here on the carry, good for five. <laughs> Rogers now. That one. Oh, it's gonna be a face mask here on Grimes. And that will put him over the midfield stripe at the 49. Hull. Pass is caught out of the backfield. That's Rogers. Dan Conti bringing him down. Short of the line to gain. Third and one here. It's decision time as Briggs in the backfield. We have yet to see Tariq Wright in action. He is number three on the left side of your screen. Hull to throw. There is Wright. Oh, and he dropped it. Right as I called his name, Tariq Wright could not hold on to that pass from Hull. And it'll force a punt. Escobar. Booting it deep. That may be perfect. We'll see. Oh! You can't get it any better than that. Luis Escobar. I thought that was for sure going to be a touchback, but Ronan Gallon are going to have to go 100 yards. Kamani Moore getting him out of the danger zone for now. That's good for six. Of course, in the last broadcast we did, or I did, Salt Lake City, Delaware, there was a safety. 
courtesy of LaShawn Roberson. Hike. We see another one here. Pressure coming, and yes, we will, but there's a flag here. Hold everything. It'll be a hold, so that'll nullify the safety by Galbraith and give him an automatic first down. No! Oh man, I thought we were going to have back-to-back -back safeties and back-to-back -back recordings. <laughs> and wouldn't you know, it's Ronnie Phipps again on the stop. He'll take a seat, Andre Knowles. Will come in. Gallagher, looking, has time, caught Cameron Riddle. And not very far there, tackle made by Jonathan Spate. Another Penn State grad out of Washington, D.C. Third and ten, Gallagher's pass, caught as Howard, good enough for the first. First and ten, pistol, there's more. Stop maybe at 25, Jonathan Riggs. As Walker comes back in. Second and inches. Gunter in short motion. Walker on the run, got her off with the first. Lamar Gray on the tackle. Walker on the carry. Break free. I almost thought he would break down for a touchdown there. But no. More back in. I got the call. Good stop once again by Gray as he'll take a seat. Kavon Boyd will come in and Rodney Joyner will get his first action here. At the running back spot, we're at number 41. Look at, look at it, NC State, he'll get the call. Joyner down the right side. And he has a good gain of 11 yards. Watch out for the legs there. So good run by Joyner as Moore will come back in. Jabari Gardner is the fourth running back on the roster. Could he see some action today as well with this high score? More. Oh, he gets stuff at his Andre Knowles. With the TFL, good job there by him. Five receivers set now for the Mariners. Gallagher in the gun. He will throw, looking, looking to the end zone. Watch out. That was almost picked by Spade, I believe, 24. And that could have been dangerous. Third and 13, another empty backfield for Gallagher. This time it goes to the end zone again. It's Powers for the touchdown. Tyler Powers getting in for his second TD and this is turning into a blowout if it wasn't already. Good catch here for Jimmy Burroughs, finally getting him involved in the offense. That one good for 40 yards.
Under two minutes to go. Hull, pass, caught, Briggs. Briggs on the carry, not getting very far. Desmond Cooper will get the TFL. Defensive end out of Houston, Texas. Pass here is incomplete. It looks like he was trying to hit Sean Fox there. That pass will fall incomplete. Another field goal try for Dvorak here. That kick is sailing and it will miss. No good. Oh. Moore on the run. Moore down the left sideline. And Braylon Myers eventually tripping him up here. Twenty-eight seconds to go and counting in the third quarter. That is Westmoreland in motion. Moore. Again on the carry. He has room down the sideline. 30-25. Inside the 20. Breaking the tackle. Man, this man can just not be stopped today. Kaimani Moore getting inside the red zone to end the quarter. 38-6. At the end of three. Iowa just not with it today on both sides of the ball. They are struggling to stop Virginia Beach's highly powered offense. And meanwhile, on their own offensive side, they can't get anything going. Pass caught Riddle. Tonight. More. On the run, he is still going inside the five. And they'll mark him down at the three. What a run there by Moore. Who just refuses to get tired. Walker on the carry brought down there by Keontae Maddox. Second down and goal. We'll see what they call here. Gallagher with a bunch set motion man is Howard. A flag down here. Throw on second and goal. Pass to the end zone is incomplete. I believe that was Riggs in coverage. Or it could have been Adams. Guy with the sleeves. One of the two. Anyway, an Iowa Storm defender knocked that one down. Third and goal. Gallagher to throw again. As a man, it is off the hands of Lamonte Jackson, who could have had an easy pick. But it went right through his hands. Field goal here for right. Reynolds. Kick is perfect. 27 yarder makes it 41 to 6. 41 to 6 ball game.
Second and eight. Hull. Pass caught at Burroughs again. He's been quiet aside from their 40 yard reception earlier. But uh, Hull overall has been absolutely atrocious. Uh, less than 100 yards. But uh, can he make up for it right here with a big shot to right that was covered beautifully? That may have been Antoine Morgan. 37 in coverage? That seemed like the most viable option. Pass here incomplete again to right. Man, they have just not found a connection. Oof. Hull, pass, Burrows again. He dropped it. Man, these receivers and tight ends cannot help out their quarterback at all. And they're punting. Just go for it already. You're down by five touchdowns. Kelsey on the return. Not far. Tackle made by Fowler. And can Virginia Beach just keep running up the score here? Could we see a 50 burger possibly in the preseason? Yikes. Side, and that's Riggs on the tackle. But a good gain of 10 in the first. More all over the stat sheet today. Two touchdowns, 26 carries for a buck 79. Walker. Solid run there, brought down by Adams. throw here. Caught! That is Howard, I'm pretty sure. And that is good enough for the first down. Under five minutes to play now. More. On the run. Good for five. Brought down by Gray. And we could see kind of any more go over 200 yards this game. As we... Surely expected due to the aggressive play calling of Virginia Beach and head coach E. And he's 10 yards away from that milestone. There's Walker on the run. First down and more. Could pick up a 16 as Lamonte Jackson will take a seat at the safety spot. And bring in James Cummings. Fullback Travis Churchill in motion. Hand off Moore. Still a gain of six, and that's kind of been the first down motto for Virginia Beach. Get yards whenever you can. Gallagher, look at as a man, oh, what a catch of the sideline by Bullard. Wow, that was impressive. Vince Bullard hauling that one in and getting the feet in as well. First down at the 11, more. Not very far, that is more of the Iowa defense that I am used to. Moore at 197. May not get another shot here in this game to eclipse 200. We'll see. Yike. Gallagher looking. Has time. Passes caught Riddle. That'll get him to the three. And it looks like Walker will still remain in the game. So if if nothing happens here, Kaimani Moore has missed out on his chance to get 200 yards. Walker will... Try and get it. He won't get it. It'll be fourth down. That'll probably be sending out the field goal team to make it. Uh, yes, it will. So, 
Sadly, it looks like Kaimani Moore will not eclipse 200 yards. Not that it's a really big deal because Eric Walker has 90 of his own. But uh, regardless, still an amazing performance by the Virginia Beach running backs. And uh, yeah, truly, truly a blowout here. 44 to 6. Fowler on the return. And can Iowa get that single digit off the scoreboard? Not that it matters, but man, it looks bad. Hull to throw has a man. It's intercepted. So uh, here goes that. Julius Kelsey on the pick, and uh, I spoke too soon. They will not get that single digit off the scoreboard. Okay. So, uh, and no use to really run plays here except to have Iowa use all of their timeouts. But, uh, but yeah. So, uh, who knows? That 50 burger still could definitely be within reach. <laughs> if they pass here, they will run more. Gonna take a little bit more time off the clock and. Perhaps see a passer on third down, I would think. If they're smart. And if the play calling goes... Oh, oh by the way, Kaimani Moore, over 200 yards. Look at that. Right when I said he wouldn't get it, he got it. Third and four. They will run with Moore. And he will have enough, I think. Give it to him. Oh, they didn't give it to him. Oh, no. So that stalls the 50 burger chances. I thought he got it, dude. At this point, who cares? Reynolds' kick is good, so there's 47. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, hey, another pick is still not out of the equation. Sean Fox in motion. Will they pass again? They will pass. They will go deep to Burroughs. That is, is a catch as Morgan just kind of falls down for some reason. We'll look into that. Hurry up offense here for Iowa with a minute to go and change. Sean Fox in motion there. Pass is open. That's Matt Peters with a catch. No timeouts for Iowa, so they got to move. 45 and counting. They will run a play here after they get... Why that, that motion took... And the clock is running after a penalty. What is this game? You, you literally wasted 13 seconds. Five for the motion and seven for the penalty. They should reset that clock to 45 seconds. But no, they won't. <laughs> Hull will pass again. It's caught. That is Tariq Wright's first catch in the black and gold. If you can believe it. Good for 26. They will spike it here, it looks like. Tonight. Yep. 15 seconds. Can they score a touchdown in this game? Graham Hull. Absolutely horrific. He will throw. He will throw to the end zone. George Williams, pick that. <laughs> that was in your hands, brother. 11 seconds. Playing for pride here. Third and 10. Go. How to throw. End zone, knocked away by Kelsey. Fourth down, I assume they will go for it here. They will. It will keep the offense on the field. Fourth down, this is the game. Not that it wasn't already, but... Encroachment penalty here on... Virginia Beach. 
Fourth and five. Rodgers in motion. Call to throw. Pass to the end zone. It is incomplete. I think he was trying to target right again. And that will be the end of the game. Virginia Beach puts up a whopping 47 points in the preseason thanks to Ronan Gallagher, Kaimani Moore, and Eric Walker. Kaimani Moore, three rushes for 207 yards and two TDs as Ronan Gallagher just puts on a show for his first ever start. Wow! Darius Rogers, man, I mean, they didn't get the ball all that much, so Jimmy Burrow's insane game. Towards the end, though, uh, Matt Peters, yep. Oh my, look at all these tackles! Smith with 13, Gray with 12, Ruth with 10. Who forced that fumble, by the way, of Lawson? It was Spate! Wow, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I, I want to see how many plays Virginia Beach ran. Oh my gosh. Look at Gallagher, dude. 69%, 264 in his first career start. That's insane. Oh my god, they ran out for over 300 yards. Oh my god. Even Rodney Joinder had an 11 yard run this game. Oh my gosh. Tyler Power just doing Tyler Power's things. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And Antoine Morgan led the team with six tackles, yeah. That that just shows you the play disparity, really, among anything. We will get the play disparity for you. It seems like Iowa did not have the ball all that much. And they didn't. Virginia Beach read 80 plays. Oh my god. They actually ran way more pass plays than I thought they would. Uh, but yeah, the... the, the they almost had 600 yards of total offense. Yo! They had almost 100 more rushing yards than Iowa had total yards. That's insane. This might be the most imbalanced game I've ever seen. Wow. Okay. But anyway, that'll be it. Take a look at the quarterback stats once again, and that will be it for the Friday slate of preseason games. Coming up tomorrow, we will inform you of the games coming up on Saturday the 30th. We will have the first ever game for Pharaoh Trey as Brooklyn will take on Vancouver. I'll bring you Albuquerque at St. Louis, Memphis at Austin, and Portland at Louisville. Those last two games both come in courtesy of Cultural. We will catch you next time. Have a great Friday evening, everyone. Take care.